some point to our friends. You're welcome, you're welcome, my friend. This is the way how we, how he sang to me. All right. It's happened again. We have no power. And starting from yesterday, we have electricity shutdown schedules. As far as you know, due to massive recent Russian attack on our power infrastructure, whole entire region, Kharkiv region, stayed with all of electricity. And we also have had some outage for several hours on that day. Later on it was restored, but starting from yesterday, all regions that are neighboring to Kharkiv region have electricity shutdown schedule. Jack, many could not eat Jack as always is ready to ride this jeep, but unfortunately we have nowhere to go and we have a flat tire. Some issues with this valve core, if I'm saying that uh, correctly, because I was looking for this word. So you can write me in the comments the best one. When we do not have electricity, we also do not have water because everything is connected. Like uh, we have water from a local uh, water tower and no electricity there, no water to everyone. And we also do not have internet, home internet. As for mobile internet, unfortunately, we have here very low network connection but the good thing is that our cell phone providers uh, in the beginning of the invasion they allow to switch between cell phone operators so like you can switch and uh, look for the better connection but I tried all uh, networks and uh, like we have very very low 3G signal only somewhere on the top like here but it's still very unstable so the only thing you can do is just like to like to read some text like even not to watch uh, videos by the way as for hives a few more hives have been restored so you can see more and more hives that uh, were repainted restored but of course we have more Hives to restore. Jack, давай вылазь. Хватит там сидеть. So this guy, he is sitting inside the Soviet jeep <laughs> mostly all the time when I go outside. But if I take his toy, this ball, Jack, I'm gonna match. Давай. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, this, these are the toys which I wanted to show you in my live streams. So this is a rubber ball and this is uh, this ball for uh, like a soccer or how do you call American football with a rope. So I can play with Jack like Davai. Opa. One more hive here and this is our workshop where we restore hives. You can see accessories, equipment, grinder and some new frames for this season. By the way, do you remember we have here our wood boiler and now we switched the wood boiler to gas boiler because it's getting warmer and warmer every day and we turn on gas boiler only like several hours per day just to keep the temperature inside thankfully insulation insulation really helps a lot in my previous live streams i told you that we removed an old fence here and an old fence there and now the yard became bigger but I'm still not used that we do not have fence here but maybe later on it will be okay Jack is sitting in his car again Jack, I told you 
we are not going anywhere. We are going anywhere. Заводи, давай, поехали. Let's go. Какие он смешный. He's so funny. This guy. So I check the battery. And three, two, one. No, давай. So I hope that uh, one day <laughs> Jack will have skills to drive this car, but unfortunately now he can just be a passenger. But you see, <laughs> he said that I'm ready. Jack, again, shame on you. Why are you so excited? I don't know. So every time is so visible. And still we do not have electricity i have time to talk to you because i mostly talk to you when i have some live streams but to be honest uh, doing like talking videos is a bit hard for me because i still uh, not so rich in english vocabulary and sometimes i need to check or to uh, yeah just to search for the word because uh, I cannot express myself like in 100% I want and that's why I'm trying not to talk um, in regarding some like serious topics some uh, about some serious things because uh, I want to be more correct as I can so of course like it's still a bit hard for me I'm not native speaker this is my third language so yeah but of course I'd like to talk on more topics i'd like to share more things more experience to you so guys if you have any question you want to hear from me you can leave your question below this video and i will tell you my thoughts uh, from a perspective of the civilian in ukraine who is not military but who has all chances to be conscripted anytime because some people think that like uh, every civilian in Ukraine is fighting every civilian in Ukraine is in military but of course it's impossible because we have a lot of people we are a big country of course sometimes um, I'm shocked that some people think that uh, the whole Ukraine like destroyed the war is everywhere but of course uh, Ukraine is the biggest country in the Europe so you can see how big is, in, is Ukraine on map I'm talking to dead people who are sometimes writing such weird things under my videos and see where we have combat, where we have a front line alright guys, thanks a lot for watching this video I hope it was interesting maybe it's not so dynamic like you uh, used to watch on my channel but from time to time I think I have to to do such videos because first of all I can share more information with you the second thing is I every time I speak more I improve my English skills and uh, it's like the real life without any like uh, editing without any like additional colors like uh, real life that we have here in Ukraine so thanks to everyone who support us for standing with Ukraine, with Ukrainian people, with me and my family. Big thanks to my patrons and to people who support me on Buy Me A Coffee page. I'm very grateful for that. And I wish you all the best and see you in my next videos and live streams. Bye.